In today's lesson, we shall look at the molar mass of a gas. Uh, specifically, we shall look at uh, the ideal gas, uh, which refers uh, to a hypothetical gas composed of molecules that do not attract or repel each other. So it means that uh, in an ideal gas, there are no forces of attraction or repulsion then each individual molecule within the gas takes up no volume though the gas as a whole has volume so from the three laws from the three gas laws uh, that we looked at um boy's law we looked at boy's law which states that uh, p um pv is equal to k then charles's law charles's law uh, v is equal to bt then avogadro's law avogadro's law which states that v is equal to an okay so these are the three laws um that um, uh, we looked at so in this case uh, P is pressure then V is volume uh, K is a, a constant V is volume then B a constant and T is Kelvin temperature then V volume A constant and N um, that is the number of moles. So when these uh, three gas laws are combined, we came up with the equation um, which says that PV is equal to NERT. Okay, so this is the ideal gas law, ideal gas law or ideal gas equation. Okay, so P, P is pressure, P is pressure in the atmospheres, then V, V is, is volume, volume in liters, then N, N is the number of moles, number of moles, then R, R, R is the is a gas constant gas constant which has a value of 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per kelvin mole then t t is kelvin temperature okay so we can we can use we can use the ideal gas law to to calculate or to determine the molar mass of of the gas so what we need to do is to make some modifications to the ideal gas law then we can calculate the the molar mass so we know that pv is equal to nrt so we can we can make p the subject of the formula so p is equal to nrt over over v so we know that n n is the is the number of moles so we know that more is equal to mass mass over molar molar mass okay so we can substitute any in the into the ideal gas law so we can say m over 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 m so um the uppercase m means molar mass so we can substitute into the equation so we can now say p is equal to m m over m m over m rt rt over over v 
okay so when he, when we do some uh, rearrangements it will come to p is equal to m rt over v m okay so you can see clearly here that we have uh, mass of um, of a volume so this term here mass over volume we know that mass over volume is equal to d so now we can substitute there so we are going to have p is equal to d rt over over m which is the molar mass so now we can make uh, m the subject uh, of the formula so we have m is equal to d rt over over p okay so this is the equation that uh, we can use to calculate the molar mass of a gas in this case uh, d d is the density is the density of the gas in grams per per liter and m m is the molar mass m is the molar mass molar mass or or molecular weight molecular weight okay then these other terms we have already defined them okay R is a gas constant, T is the Kelvin temperature, then P, P is the is the pressure in the, in atmospheres. Okay. So using this equation, we can calculate the molar mass of a gas. So we can have an example. Let's see how we can we can use this equation to calculate the molar mass of an ideal gas okay so let's have this one um, a sample a sample of nitrogen gas a sample of nitrogen gas has um, 1200 milliliter milliliter of nitrogen of nitrogen with a mass with a mass with a mass of 1.1.28 1 grams 1.28 grams at 0 0.96 atmospheres and 32 degrees degrees Celsius determine 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 the molar mass the molar mass of of this gas determine the molar mass of this gas so this is the the question a sample of nitrogen gas has uh, 1200 milliliter of nitrogen with uh, a mass of 1.28 grams at 0 0.9960 atm at 32 degrees celsius determine the molar mass of the gas so we can first of all collect the data so we know that v in this case is equal to 1200 uh, milliliters then mass m is equal to 1.1.28 grams uh, pressure is equal to 0 0.9608 atm then t is equal to 32 plus uh, plus 273 um, which is giving us uh, so we need uh, to convert uh, uh, temperature 
into into kelvins temperature so we have 32 plus 2 273 so we are getting 300k 300k okay so now um we need to since mass and volume can give us density so in this case we have d is equal to m over v um, mass is equal to 1.28 grams of um, of a volume 1200 milliliters so when we divide 1.28 so 1.28 over 1.28 over 1200 so we are getting we are getting 1.1.07 times 10 to the power negative 3 grams grams per me per milliliter okay so now we need uh, to convert the density into into grams per liter so we have um, 1.07 times 10 to the power negative 3 grams per milliliter so you say times uh, times 1000 or you just say times 10 to the power 3 um, milliliter over liter okay so you can see that the powers will will cancel so you you cancel the milliliter then this power and uh, the the three there the negative three will cancel so we are going to have uh, 1.07 grams per liter so this is our our density this is our density in grams per liter then now we can use uh, we can use our equation for calculating uh, for calculating the molar mass for calculating the molar mass so the equation uh, we know that the equation is um, uh, m m is equal to d rt over over p okay so we have uh we have the the values for this okay so now we can calculate d d is density 1.07 grams per liter times r so make sure when you are doing the calculations you you include the units so that uh, you show how the units are cancelling out and in the end you you remain with the desired units okay so 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres over kelvin more times 300 um, the temperature that was found is 305k 305k okay 305 so when we converted uh, 32, it was 32 plus uh, 273. Yeah, it is giving us 305K. Then over pressure, the pressure given is 0 0.960 ATM. So now let's check if these units are cancelling out so we can start with k kelvin will cancel you cancel there then uh, atm cancels uh, we can see that the liter liter cancels and we have remained with uh, the desired uh, units you can see there it's gram per per more which are the units for 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 molar mass okay so now we need to to multiply uh, and and divide okay so when we multiply and divide so let's do it so 1.07 times 0. 
0 0.08206 times 305 times 305 over 0.69 so it is giving us 27.9 27 point, point 0.9 when we round when we round off grams grams per mole okay so 27.9 which when we round off it will be 28 grams per mole okay so this is the molar mass of um, of nitrogen so when you when you check in the periodic table, you find that nitrogen is 14.01. Since um, a gas is diatomic, so now when you multiply 14.01 times 2. So it is giving us 28.002 grams per, per mole, which is just the same. Okay, so this is how you can calculate the, 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 the molar mass of, um, of a gas by using this equation. M is equal to D R T over P. And always remember... Uh, remember that density must be always converted to grams per liter. Then the gas constant is in with the units liter atmosphere per Kelvin and temperature in Kelvins. Also, pressure has to be in the, in the atmospheres. Okay, so thank you, thank you for for watching and. Uh, have a nice time.